We've all seen him on TV. Billy Mays here for all kinds of infomercial products. But he's not shouting. At least that's what he told Yvonne Zanos in her one-on-one -on -one interview with the hometown kid. And Yvonne joins us live with more. Yvonne. Well, Christine, he's fought his way up in a tough business. He's a pitch man, or perhaps I should say he's the pitch man. But there's a lot more to Billy Mays than just mouth. Hi, Billy Mays here for Mighty Putty. Billy Mays back again with the awesome auger. Billy Mays here for Mighty Mended. If you watch TV, you have to know Billy Mays. He's the mouth of the infomercials, the king of TV pitchmen. But what you might not know is that Mays is a hometown boy, born and bred in McKee's Rocks. I miss Pittsburgh so much, you wouldn't believe it. Mays and his family are living the good life in Florida, but Billy's number one fan still lives in McKee's Rocks, where she's had a notary public office for more than 30 years. To say Joyce Mays is proud of her son is an understatement. I really am proud of him. Everybody, the whole family's proud of him. He's conquered all. Mays will tell you he pulled himself up by the bootstraps and fought his way to fame and fortune. The journey's been an unbelievable one, 27 years. I started on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, and I learned the tough way. And he's still fighting, fighting with the bad boy of the infomercials, Vince Shlomi. Doesn't trip, doesn't make a mess. Just mention Sham Wow to Mays. Sham Pow. And the sparks start flying. What do you think? You know, I'm going to take the high road on this, but I got to tell you, be careful what you name your products. You know, I had the original product, Z the Zorbies, and I laid the foundation. What he did was he built the house. Now I'm moving back in. I'm going to redecorate it. I'm going to take back what's mine. And if you're out there, Vince, you're listening, Shampoo, okay? And the Mays has always been a stiff competitor, starting with his high school days on the football team. He was football. He graduated in 76 from Stowe Rocks. He got the MVP of the year. He um, broke some, uh, the record for the tackles. He was a linebacker. The walls of Joyce May's office are covered with articles praising her son's accomplishments, pictures, and lots of products that put Billy Mays on the pitchman map. Joyce says right from the beginning there was something different about Billy, the oldest of her three sons. He probably was the one that um, was the biggest ham. He was just different. They, they're all three boys were different, in fact. But uh, Billy was, uh, he was a ham. And when he started pitching, he pitched his family first. He set up a prop in her backyard and had us all sit there and was pitching, you know. Mays has come a long way since then. His breakthrough product was OxyClean. He even gave OxyClean away as favors at his wedding. Always selling, always looking for the next big sell. I'm known for OxyClean, Mighty Putty, Mighty Mended, uh, Kaboom, Kaboom, and the stains are gone. So, you know, there's a lot of different products. I love them all. Um, I take pride in what I do with them, and I become one with the product. And I've been doing this for 11 years. When I come out and I say, hi, Billy Mays here for whatever product, whether it be uh, the Handy Switch, the Samurai Shark, you name it, it's the product first. I'm just a quarterback. I'm the one that gets it to the next level. And talking about levels, what's with his audio level? It has the strength to pull this fully loaded. For all of you who think Mays is shouting at you, he says, no way. No, I'm, I'm not shouting. I'm projecting. That's what I'm doing because you know what? If I stood here or I sat here because I always stand in my commercials and I said, hi, Billy Mays here for the amazing, it just wouldn't be the same. Even in bad times, Mays says good products will sell, but it all starts with one good idea. If you have an idea, it's just an idea until you put it down on paper and get it actually into a prototype. So go back into your garage, start tinkering again because the American dream is alive and well, and uh, we're going to get out of this mess one uh, dream at a time. And Pittsburgh, in case you're wondering... Everybody in Pittsburgh, I give you two thumbs up. All right, Billy Mays. He's on national TV now in a discovery show called Pitchmen. It's a chance to follow that American dream from the beginning to see which infomercial products soar and which die in the launch pad. And I must say, we've liked most of the products Billy Mays pushes. You know, Mighty Mend it. We like that. Not so much the Steam Buddy and the Awesome Auger, but the rest all got a thumbs up from us. I'm Yvonne Zanos, KDK TV News. Yeah, nice to know he's a hometown guy. He's Thanks, an icon. Yvonne. He's larger than life. Yeah, it's cool. He's a Pittsburgher. <laughs>